All right, let's try this again. What's going on, YouTube? Saddle Tramp here. Got my Stanwell Vario Bulldog. You know what? Maybe this will help. Nah, lighting sucks in here unless it's really bright outside. And uh, this truck doesn't have the the sunroof in it, so I don't get the natural as much natural lighting as I would like. Um, got some my mixture nine six five. This is gonna drive me nuts. The damn, this has got like an auto light thing in it. it drives me insane. Um, anyway, stopped at Old Virginia Tobacco Company in Richmond, Virginia yesterday. I picked up the 965. I also grabbed some University Flake. This stuff's actually very good. I like it a lot. It's good stuff. Yeah, I like the 965. Um, picked up a couple cigars. Still on the lookout for the uh, Alec Bradley Nikipuro Rosado. Uh, tried one. I got one down in St. Louis, and uh, it was fantastic. Mm. I've never tried a CAO. We have a CAO Pilon, which is supposed to be pretty good. And this I have had before. It was pretty good. The Ashton. Let me get some light on it here. Ashton VSG. Um, I don't sm smoke cigars near as much as I used to. I used to smoke four or five a day. Now I smoke one or two a week. Um, so I like having a couple on hand, the, the ones I really like. and you know, Used to be I'd grab a couple that I knew I liked and then grab some new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. Just kept grabbing new shit to try. Now I just grab my favorites. Like I said, I got that CAO. Uh, we'll see how that is, but... Um, also, I asked the guy when I was there, I said, hey, do you guys sell dry snuff? So, well, we quit selling it years and years ago, but we still have some in the back if you'd like to see it. I said, well, yeah, of course. And uh, he brings up this little box, and it's got all these samples in it, which I, he wouldn't sell me the samples, but there were six containers that were unopened. And he asked me how many of them I wanted to buy, I said I want them all. Because this stuff, um, it just burns a lot, it smells like sweet tea, it's like six bucks for this huge container of it, it's not that good. This is 32.6 um, grams, and uh, it sucks, it just burns a lot. Now all these ones here that I bought, um, some of them have a little bit of a sting, kind of a burn, but it's not like that. That shit is just fucking fire. This stuff is very, very smooth. Um, this is menthol, and um, I guess I can attempt to pronounce it here. It's Poshels, Poshels, I guess. Uh, Gletscher Price, menthol, very, very tasty. Uh, from the same company, we have Ozona, Orange Snuff. It's kind of citrusy, it's not like super orangey, but it's really good. This I love, Crumbs of Comfort by Wilson's of Shero. Uh, Spearmint is my favorite mint, and that is Spearmint. The SM Blue from Wilson's is the same menthol, kind of uh, Tiger Balm. A, a smell is this, but it's a lot stronger, a lot stronger. And then also I got uh, some Wilson's Royal George, which is kind of a Lakeland perfumey kind of thing. And this one uh, had a little bit of rust on the container, and I had trouble opening it, and ended up uh, putting a hole in it. So I've been keeping it in a jar, in a bag. Fuck. Yeah, it's spilling out all over the place. Uh, Kendall Brown. I actually need to re-bend this jar back a little bit. Maybe I can fix it, but... Um, anyway, yeah, I got some, some good snuffs here. 
the Kendall Brown is um, very perfumey, uh, Lakeland kind of thing going. But it's good, actually. Like when I got that um, that BBS pipe, it smelled kind of like that, and it was just so strong and awful, horrible, horrible, horrible shit, man. And uh, but in this, it's actually not bad at all. Get a little, let's see, a little look there. If I can do it without spilling it. I did this video a few times and um, something kept getting messed up which here we go and um, my nose is all plugged up because I've been doing a bunch of snuff since I got this stuff but it's really good um, matter of fact see if I can't unclog it here real quick I've been talking about how strong this shit is this uh, SM blue Man, it's good. I don't know why I like that. That perfume, it tastes it's like it's like perfume, but it's good. I don't know why. It's very good stuff. There we go. Okay. Oh, man, it's like Vicks Vapor Rub or something. Or you know what here? This light drives me nuts, but for the sake of you guys being able to see this. And uh uh, this this stuff will put lead in your pencil. It's uh, very 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 minty Probably ought to take it out and rub it so it uh, Get all the clumps out of it. You know, it's been sitting a long time. I wonder does snuff age the way that uh, Pipe tobacco and cigars do because this stuff is very very smooth Oh, it's already cleared up now all right, whatever. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do this. Put it on my, my hand here and split it into two. Do it Tony Montana style, do the two at once. All righty then. See, it's strong, but it's so smooth. Like, it's just, it's obviously just better quality than this other crap I bought but I didn't know I didn't know anything about it I just knew I wanted to try the stuff so that I guess I'll keep around for something I don't know man it's really good I love it I love um, I usually will do it first thing in the morning because um, you do a lot of that shit late at night you know especially me having to drive um, it'll kind of knock you out man it makes me feel sleepy in the evening but in the morning with my you know uh, I'll have breakfast and then uh, I'll fire up a pipe some coffee or a Red Bull whichever I'm having that day some days both um, I'll um, I'll do some stuff first thing in the morning I'll shit like this minty stuff here I gotta really get you going it's good stuff it's so smooth though like it just doesn't doesn't burn I just I can't believe it because I'm, I'm used to doing that other shit and it burns so bad this stuff here is extremely extremely smooth all of it is all of it is it really this orange is is pretty citrusy um, but uh, it's not super orangey but I actually I kind of like doing uh, some mint and then doing the orange right after kind of do it like that so you put two so you can see it two little piles out and the next thing you know old Jed's a millionaire I just can't get over how smooth that stuff is wow man that's an old truck that's nice um sorry one second let me or hell I can put those up here in a minute um, but yeah, uh, the guy in there, Ren, extremely knowledgeable, extremely helpful, uh, really seemed eager to 
want to make sure that you had a good experience and to make sure you walk away with what you wanted you know what you're looking for he's a hell of a guy really 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 good service there don't remember what I'll have told you or not but uh, I have two packages coming in um, I should be going through Columbus sometime next week I'll be grabbing those and uh, this time I will uh, wait and open them with you guys um, I smoked the rest of the, the breakfast blend I got from Barclays I smoked the rest of that this morning uh, I'm gonna get some more mason jars and uh, I'll be going by there. It's only like four bucks an ounce, and uh, I'm gonna buy four or five ounces and stuff a uh, mason jar full of that stuff because I really, really like having that first thing in the morning. And um, I can see why they call it breakfast blend. It really is really good. I like it with coffee. You know, I mean, I smoke it all day. Some days I'll smoke it. You know, two or three bowls of it a day just because if I'm feeling it. But it's really good stuff. Um, Let's see, I showed you the snuff, told you about my order, and um, well, I think that's about it for me. I'm here in Virginia, I'm heading up to Pennsylvania right now. You guys, um, you take it easy, and hell if you can take it easy, take it twice. Um, check out my Instagram, saddle underscore tramp underscore piper. If anybody wonders where I got the name saddle tramp, listen to the Marty Robbins song, saddle tramp I'm as free as the breeze and I ride where I please that's where I got it from um, thanks for subscribing I really appreciate you guys thank you for watching um, y'all take it easy I'll catch you guys next time